I just realized my mic wasn't on. Hello, everyone. <laughs> Chances are, if you're hearing this, you're watching the stream archive of this. But it's another Oracle of Ages. Never mind. Nabia near us. Soup. Hello, Soup. I need to turn off my stream on my end before I forget. There we go. Alright, how do I sound? Hopefully not too bad, and you can't hear the TV in the background. Hello, Crow. What was I doing here? Hello, stream. I remember now. We have to go... Alright, sounds good. We have to go dance with the Gorons. That's what we're here to do. But just to see where the hell I am, I need to see... Okay, yes. We have to go east. Let's go! So yeah, this is, I think, the part of the game where it's just nothing but mini-games? If I remember correctly. So that will be fun. And now I don't know if I'm going the right way or not. Let me check the old map. Yeah, we're going the right way. Yes, journey to the east. Going to the east. And somehow I think we're actually going the wrong way, but... This is what happens when you take a slight break over a week. <laughs> uh, man. I blame Fate for releasing CCC at the worst possible time and making almost zero changes to it, so it was just a very long grind. Hello, Raiders fan. Welcome. You made it to a stream. Well, currently, I'm trying to figure out where the hell to go. Don't worry, I'll make it. We're almost there. Happy Goron dance. But hopefully... You just started watching the Fate series? Did you start with the, the right one, aka Fate Stay 19? Fate Grand Horse. The, the only accurate way to start watching Fate is to start with the Dean adaptation. Because your expectations will be so low. Yeah, you are! <laughs> Oh, man. Well, congratulations, because from that point on, every other one looks ten times better. Okay, this is the way to go. Uh, I kind of liked it. I like it, too. Um, but in terms of the overall actual story of Fate, it does not follow anything. It actively gets things wrong about the story. It combines different routes. <laughs> But to be fair, it's only bad because it doesn't follow it correctly. As it's by its standalone thing, I actually think it's pretty it's pretty good. Except for the CGI dragon. The CGI dragon is like the one bad thing. But other than that, I think it's pretty fun. Oh, okay. When you can go to the past. Yeah, then from zero. It's all a big step up, even though I think it's a step down after zero, but whatever. No one agrees with me. I can see your destiny. Go on, spirit, show me. Amazing. I see you dancing feverishly. Graceful Goron dances in the back. He's so cool. Okay, yeah, this is the dance mini game. Welcome. I am the fifth generation of graceful dancers. This is my dance hall. One must know our dance if he is to be called a Goron. If you dance well, I'll give you the symbol of brotherhood. One try costs ten rupees. Shall we dance? Yes. Yes. Link is the archer class. Pay attention to my lesson. Are you sure he isn't Berserker because he doesn't talk? Okay, so I have to actually pay attention. There are two types. Press B to move to this sound. Press A to hold pose. And you hear the sound. Okay. Ah. Uh. Uh, uh, it it does get worse. It's called Fate Apocrypha. <laughs> so <laughs> that is by definition worse. All right. We don't care how you dance as long as you have rhythm. Am I a good dancer? Okay. Let me pay attention. One, two. Damn it. Okay. What? It was too early. 
Okay. What the fuck? Oh, man. So this is where... <sighs> yes. Okay. Okay, let's go. One, two, one, two, three. I have no idea what that was a bullshit first one. What is this? Okay. Oh, come on. <laughs> this is I'm going to lose all my rupees here. Okay. Okay, one. <laughs> this is welcome to the chat APA um, this is the hardest part of the game where I have to actually listen to the rhythm one two one two three I was too late. Okay. Damn it! Oh, I'm never gonna pass this. Oh, yes! I got the brother of Yuri Goran now, too. Okay. Thank you. Uh. Shit. Yeah, this minigame is not easy. That's a brother emblem. You stand a passion in the Goran's heart, you may pass. But I can help you. Help. My ancestors have. Sit here guarding the peace on Rolling Ridge. I can't leave, but I'm so hungry I could start. Can you give me some food? Sure. He's probably part of the undercover, um... Undercover... <laughs> other undercover brother Link. You mess with the fro, you got to go. Um, he's probably part of the trading game, which I have to complete before we finish the game if I want to have the Master Sword for the next game. Doing a few turbo duels and duel links earlier today. I heard they released that recently. I wonder how that works out, considering that I thought duel links was already kind of turbo dueling. Every turn already ended in one turn. What? <laughs> what could they change? <laughs> okay, let's see. Dum, 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 dum. Big bang game. Oh hell yeah. I'm ready for the Big Bang. Energy drink. Okay. Hello, sir. Ha. Huh. I've worked so many late nights lately, I don't feel up to playing games. To oh, man. I need something to energize me, so wake me up. Alright, we gotta go find this man. Um, um, some Gatorade or something. Monster energy. Oh. That kind of turbo game. Okay. Because I, I know that Yu-Gi-Oh! has a thing, I think, called speed dueling. Maybe that's what I got it confused with. Alright. So now we need to find this man a monster energy drink somehow. Let's see if we can find it. Uh, I can't tell if I'm going the right way or the wrong way. I think I'm going the right way. Do 
do we have time to bully Maple? Am I really? <laughs> Listen, I played Duel Links a long time ago. Then at some point I realized I just can't get back into Yu-Gi-Oh. It will actually hurt me. It hurts so much because I love Yu-Gi-Oh so much. And I like that Duel Links is still going. When it launched, I think Duel Links was one of the best gotchas out there, if I'm being 100% honest. That's why there was an entire mod cast back in the day dedicated to Duel Links. Because every, every single mod on the mod team for Dokkan was just playing Duel Links. It was... <laughs> I would say it was a bit of a problem, but everyone was having fun, so it was fine. And we still did our duty. Which was banning people who did bad things and moving posts, I guess. Alright, let's see. Play a little tune. Get back in time. I can put this music down a little bit lower now that I don't have to do that game anymore. I think there's a dancing game in the other, in the other version too, by the way. There's a dancing equivalent game. I remember because there's like a... A girl with a bow, if I remember right. Yeah. Chess and Duel Links. The two games. The Eternal games. Chess and Yu-Gi-Oh. Wait, right, can I swim here? I can. Okay. I don't want to play that right now, so I should actually put that away. Do I have to play it again? You're riding in a strange vehicle and shooting things? Okay. I have the Brother Bat emblem. Let me through, fool. Yeah. I mean, if you can cut Dokkan out of your life, it is the right thing to do. What does he want? Has given me life me. I need an heirloom that will teach my descendants to value life. Okay. Okay, if I ever find a vase, I'll give you a vase. Okay, let's see what to do here. Moving on, Mom. Footloose feet? It's one in the. Oh, yeah, I saved you. To be fair, it's never been a better time to be playing Dokkan. Finally, after six years, they realize, what if we tried to make this good? I want some too. What, what do I do here? Don't tell anyone, but I'm friends with someone famous. Okay. Oh. Damn it, am I gonna have to play the dancing a game again? That's unfortunate if I do. Let me see, can I? Oh, global. That's unfortunate. I'm sorry that you're stuck currently in what seems like infinite hell. I don't know what the fuck they're doing with global. That is uh, unfortunate, for sure. Because I feel like... And this is no offense to you, because obviously you can't control it. But I feel like there's every other day global players feel like they're either like the absolute best version or they get completely fucked over and there's like no real in between <laughs> it's unfortunate because on some days they totally are there's, there's no denying that the deals that they get are better if you are someone who spends on the game um they get stuff that japan just doesn't get because japan doesn't see the need to get it similar to wait the reason fake grand order never gives rewards for top grossing because they already exist in top grossing why would they need to give give anything for it hello okay now we have to do this again okay no great all right here we go Ooh, silver Oh, 
let's do it. One, two, three. Damn it. How come he says he doesn't care and then boom, I get hit by something? There we go. Dun 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 dun. <laughs> yeah, th that's what I'll use the dance pad for. Shit, that, that comment completely made me fuck up what I have to do next. There we go. Damn it. Do I have to beat him on platinum to get his super special drink? Alright, let's try that again. Let's see how this goes. Okay. No. Okay, let's see how this goes. What? Oh, it was too late, I see now. There's more. No, too early. Too late? <sighs> Maybe this isn't what I have to do. No. Maybe that's not what I have to do at all, even though that guy said this is how you get the drink. Maybe if I talk to someone else. Hmm. Maybe I just have to find another thingy. Let's get back to it. I remember this part being kind of annoying with how you have to find stuff. At least that's from my basic memory. Oh, you know what I should do? I should have done this when I was here. <laughs> I don't know why I didn't. I forgot that I could just travel to the future. Gotcha, is there a pain in the butt? In summary. I play a lot of them, though. It's all about Uma Masumi Pretty Derby nowadays, anyway. The number one top grossing game for the foreseeable future. Until they decide <laughs> that they don't want to be number one anymore, I don't know. Let me see. Hello, friend. We ran a different shop before you opened Target Cards. So maybe that means I have to go to the past here. Hello, sir. Talk to this other Goron. Shoot my seed while writing the cards. Got it. You got it, I can easily do that. What is that? Beef jerky? Yeah, this is actually the origin story of, um, Target. Goron target! <laughs> Shoot your seat, my dude. 
Link is fantastic at it, by the way. No one can stop this man! Oh, I missed two. Two out of twelve ain't bad. Ten out of twelve ain't bad. What? I have to get all of them? Are you freaking... Yes. I need the ultimate seed shooting. I need to focus on my craft. Shit. Well. There's no reason for me to continue this fight. I've already messed up. That was horrible. They didn't even give me the dignity of saying, aw oh, man. That's unfortunate. He gave me no dignity. He gave me no diggity. Like the Dr. Dre song. No! God damn it. I need to stop doing that. It's faster to turn this way. I missed one though. God damn it. I'm gonna have to do this again, aren't I? Oh, you son of a bitch. Goddamn swindling. Plunks. I'm even shooting rupees. It's not like they care about the money if the money is being used for ammo. Okay, go here. Oh, perfect. My seed has been shot everywhere. Perfect. Perfection. What do I get? I got rock brisket. No. Okay, so with the rock brisket, I think I can go to the other dude. The easiest clap in the world. No one can stop my seed shooting. How fucking dare you, random piece of shit that just showed up in front of me. First try. <laughs> First try. <laughs> that was totally my first try. Serve the rock brisket with the rock lobster. That's where I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go give this man some rock lobster. No, nope, wrong place. That's where the sleepy man lives. I just realized what's gonna happen here. I'm gonna give the guy in the past some rock brisket, and then. He's gonna give me what I gave to him. This is some Bill and Dead shit that's about to happen with the past and the future. Okay, so I'm gonna give you the rock brisket. I have food. My ancestors go on base for it. Yeah, perfect. <laughs> he traded his entire life's... Um, the the uh, the thing of his generation that was down in his family for basically a piece of meat. That man has priority straight. If someone came up to me and said, "Here you go, here's a steak. All right, cool. Have this ancient heirloom that's been in my family for over a hundred years." Um, that must be one hell of a steak. Yeah, giving a basic link is a good idea. <laughs> there you go. Here you go, sir. Here's a vase that I found. For Gorinade. Okay. Oh yeah. I'm gonna go here. So I was actually kidding about it being Gatorade, but it totally is Gatorade. Wabu beef. It's some good shit, man. Going back. The chain of event here of so much coin. It is me, hello. Even though you don't technically see me. It counts. Gotta go find my man, give him a Gatorade. Quench his thirst.
Also, hello. Welcome. Hello, Goron. That's Gorinade. One drink that changes you up. Yes, sir. Yeah. Of course, want to hear the rules? No, I just automatically- when the game begins, try to dodge or throw the bombs and start falling all around. Okay, <laughs> this doesn't seem like a game. <laughs> it seems more like attempted murder. Yeah, this seems like way more... Ah! It's true, you do. Occasionally. Shit. That seems... Okay, I'm basically paying this man to toss bombs at me. Let me quickly just change... ...and add this. Alright. Now try and kill me, motherfucker. Too fast. Too fast, too furious. No. Ah. Oh god! Oh my god, there's so many bombs! <laughs> Why would you make this a game? <laughs> did you see that flex Link did at the end? <laughs> Singing that he got to live? <laughs> Thank you for the armor making. Uh, I'm gonna assume tomorrow. I can look up the info right now, because chances are this is when Dragalia info drops. Let me see. Oh, it's a Dragalia banner remix. Alright, get ready for my live reaction on this Kala Dragalia remix. We interrupt this link to bring you Dragalia Lost. Give me a sec. Let's see... I'm gonna guess it's Galaxy as the Gala unit, but nothing's loading for me. Hollowed aspects. No, it's Galazena! Okay. Jesus, what do these women do? It's like a wall of text. I'm gonna have to focus on this later. But if I were to take a guess, they are very cute android women. No, Dragalia is not based off of anything. It's a completely new IP, I guess. It was made from the ground up. In an hour, too, I think Star Smash should potentially update with the next banner stuff, too. So I have to keep an eye on that. But no, Dragalia is not really based on anything. Uh, it's, I mean, technically speaking, I think there's a bunch of Psy Games characters in it for some reason. It's more like a weird crossover, though. Like, I think same enemies, like slimes and stuff are in it, some dragons, some characters. But other than that, not really much. He even has a gene and a gene alter. For reasons that are hard to explain. Alright, let's see. I think this is what we're gonna get in here. Oh yeah! Next dungeon. Man, this place is fucked up. Snakes! What the hell hit me? Oh, I know what hit me now. Damn fireballs. Ghosts! I need the, these ghosts to leave me alone. Ah, uh, I don't know. I'm would be fine with either one. I don't really need anyone in Dragalia right now. The only thing I need are characters that I like. Because <laughs> literally everything else I'm perfectly built off of. I could make enough teams out of like 50 different sets basically. So I don't really need anything. It's only if I want them do I really go for it. Ooh, map! 
Yeah, you should check it out. Dragalia is a fun game. Yeah, exactly like Mim. If there was a new Mim, I would be dropping everything. I would be stopping the stream and saying, See you guys next time. I need to go make a Mim video. But that didn't happen, so <laughs> you guys are here with me. Let me shoot my seed real quick. Bang! It's fire. My seed is fire. Gender Ben Mim. I don't know if I can. I don't think the world's ready for that. It's not ready. It's my current um take on it. Does that mean we get gender bent prince then? There's a lot of questions here that you're asking that I don't know if we can answer. Can I toss shit at them? The answer is no. Well. Time to take my mystery seed and ask good old bird friend. Sense Seduce Savage Beast. Oh, of course. <laughs> Dumbasses. The game was like, okay, so you've never you've done this before. This is what you do. Yeah, definitely needs more research. Maybe it'd be like, have you ever seen... Um... I don't know how big of a fan of the original Archie comics you are, but I almost fell to my death. But, um, in Archie there was a plot where, uh, Sabrina changed the genders of everyone, so it meant Archie was a woman. And it was very, very, very interesting. Ew, I would have preferred it if Archie had stayed as a woman. That's my basic feeling on how that ended up shaking down, <laughs> is that I would have preferred- I ended up liking female Archie better than either Betty or Veronica. And of course a fucking hand got me because of my blasphemous speaking. This is some straight bullshit. I've never noticed the shimmy that Link does in this sprite is really funny to me. Yeah, that one's pretty good, too. There's also a movie where Scooby-Doo does the same thing. Scooby-Doo and Archie. Not too- How come they've never teamed up? Think about that. Think of all the people. Archie has teamed up with the Punisher, yet he won't team up with Hanna-Barbera's favorite mutt, uh, Scooby-Doo. Seems unfair. Seems like a missed opportunity. They could, like, solve some kind of ghost mystery together. Let me see. So this seems like you could bomb it. And I was right. No! Perfect. Yeah, it's a really old comic at this point. I had to have read it when I was a kid. And I have not been a child in a very long time. Let me see. That's red. Did I get something? Did I unlock something? Oh, did you just try or something? I have Gala, Alex, and... I have both of them, actually. I don't think I actually use Galicleo all that much. By the time I got Galicleo, Shadow had evolved past Galicleo. I, it's really weird to think about, but yeah, that day eventually came for her. It's not that she's bad. She's very good. It's just that I don't really have a need for her anymore. Let me see, go here. That was not the right answer, and now I think I fucked myself. I totally fucked myself. God damn it. No. Why? Alright, I have to think this smart, because I literally can't mess up with the blue one.
Okay, go down here, go here. Perfect. Alright, so now... One, two, boom! I did all that for a tiny key. I forget what happened in school. I think it was... I just ended up being very friendly with... Because I used to hang out- I used to actually work at the librarian school. Um... And I think the librarian just liked me, but I remember I think she just gave me what amounted to over a hundred Archie comics, which is how I read a lot of them. And they were like digests and stuff. What is Galazena? Galazena is... Um, it's very hard to explain. Galazena is... from the future? No, yes. She's from an alternate- remember that girl in the beginning of the story? Who looks exactly like Zena but wore a mask? That's her. It's two different, um, Cynthia's. One from an alternate timeline. And, uh, this one is good. So where the hell do I use this? I need to go find where I need to put the key in. Apparently I can go down. But that's what she is. In v with, with the least amount of spoilers, but also still spoiling a lot of stuff. She's very integral to the story later on. Because most Gala units are story. I'm stupid. Why didn't I even check to see if I could go to the side? <laughs> I was too busy on hung. Yeah, the prince decided that he had he needed more sisters. So he summoned all his courage. They want to give me a Pokemon Adventures. I never like. Actually, now that I think about it. Not only did I get some free stuff, um, I also ended up keeping the manga copy of one of the Tenshi Muyo mangas, just for myself. But it's technically more accurate to say I think I just stole that. Okay, so I can go to the side here. So I need to actually leave here, because this is not actually where I need to go. No way. Unless I bomb it? Hello, Vio. That's right. Where you been, girl? We've been doing streams more frequently. And by more frequently, I technically didn't make one last week, but <laughs> I'm fixing that by having a long one today. How in the fuck do I go over there? These are all questions that need to be answered. <sighs> yes, I learned how to bend sound. Currently there's a TV going, but you can't hear it. So now I can just gladly stream whenever I want. On my phone data. Okay. So where the fuck? Do I bomb that other place? Let me go back. But yeah, now you know, Via. Unfortunately, I can't really say because it always depends on my work schedule, but, um... For the most part. Yeah, midnight livestream. Technically still accurate, it's almost midnight for me. May as well shoot these mystery seeds. <laughs> no mames, pinche progress. That guy was angry. That man had a thing for Slowpoke Rodriguez. I wasn't even make I wasn't even saying that we need to cancel Slowpoke because Slowpoke is awesome. That, but he was like, oh man, they came for Slowpoke. It's time for me to put on my Mexican bootstraps. 
and defend my my main man. No, really. Oh, what's my how the? Okay, here's what's gonna happen now because I have literally no idea what to do. It's time to look at an actual guide for this. So while I do that, how's everyone doing? Mermaid's Cave. Somehow they knew that I needed exactly Mermaid's Cave because we live in a hell future. Let's see. Ah! Oh, Raiders, thank you for the subscription, Raiders fan. You scared the shit out of me. I should really learn to put that thing lower. Oh! No wonder I'm so dumb. It's because I'm not in the right... Oh, Moopot. Moopot got to actually say something. Pog. Now you both get first. I need to customize stuff so you guys actually have something to work towards. As a thank you for doing all the... all the stuff. I did change the name to my channel points to Wokey Tokens. There's nothing you can do with the tokens because Lerp is not here to gamble them. But you can now accrue uh, Wokey Tokens. Yeah. That that pumpkin was uh, drawn by the Mew Mew Force for the 13th Night to Halloween. I <laughs> edited it together. How do you do twinkling statues in... That's a good question. I don't know. Give me a sec. Because I'm busy <laughs> trying to figure it out. It's been so long. Um, what materials do you need for Twinkling Slime? That would help me try and remember what the fuck you do with them. Sneaky. Fucking sneaky. What? Wait, what? Then how do I get in here? Oh, man. Don't tell me I accidentally screwed myself out of this. Because that would be very unfortunate. One moment. Because I used the key, but I didn't use it on the one in the past. I used it in the one in the future. Oh, no. Okay, one moment. Wow, there's a lot of... I skipped an entire thing, apparently. Alright. I somehow a activated the wrong thing at the wrong time, so let's go back. Because we need something completely different now, apparently. But let me see if that's right. Or is that... Okay. Uh, more content. Man. Alright. I got this. It's very cruel for this game to... Include a dungeon that you have to play in the past and the future. That makes this way harder than it needs to be. Because now I need way more stuff. Let me see. You want some... Let me see. Go to the past. This is a problem with some specific games, is that if you just don't remember what to do, then you just go around everywhere trying to figure out what to do exactly. No more dancing. <laughs> this is what I had to do. You see that? That was some straight baloney. How was I supposed to know that there was a time gate right there? <laughs> Thank you. 
And then I go in here. And I think I play a game here. No, we're off in lava juice. Yes. Yes, what do I do here? Hit the balls on the target with your sword. Fairies 100, you got it. Okay, there you go. That's why it must have been. Wait, what? Oh, it's baseball. Damn it! Okay. What? <laughs> okay. Wait. Son of a bitch. Got him. What? Okay. We need aim for the fairy. Nope. I mean, now that I understand what we're doing... Okay. This one's easy. How much points do I need? 130 points. 230. How many do I need? 500? I won? How? <laughs> okay. <laughs> First try, let's go. Ain't no one gonna believe that. Oh, I was like, what the hell's going on? You should be doing some void battles because they have stuff that could be useful for you. The vague thing I just said, but especially if you're early on, you should do void battles. Because they give you weapon stuff, and then you can use that weapon stuff. And then they also had drop specific material that you could use for later on, too. That will be helpful. I'm not saying that you have to, like, religiously do it, but, you know, later down the road. It's different because the Void Battles used to be a way bigger thing when Dragalia started, and they're not anymore. <laughs> there used to be a time where... Um... Uh, there used to be a time where, um, void battles were actually tough. But, not anymore. I really want to play a mobile game, but I'm already spending too much money. Man. We should do a stream where you t where we play Magic the Gathering. Just four hours of me losing to you nonstop. It will be great. Everyone will love it. You're on level 90? Really? What? Oh, that's right, we can play in Contras. That way, um... I can have every single card. It's true. It's a very good point. And I can provide the music. Give me the mermaid key. What? <laughs> oh, come on! No! God damn it, alright. Feel the rhythm, feel the rhyme. It's dancing time. What soul? Damn right! 
I didn't even need to do it perfect. I just ended up doing it perfectly. <laughs> oh, man. All right. I have all the magic starter packs from one event into one of nine. I'm undefeated. Yeah. The reason I never had a real problem with it is because I think I probably smelled like B.O. at the time when I went to it. So, Even though I always took a shower before I went. But the smell of a card game place just is too strong. I miss yeah, physical card events too. I used to go to so many back when um, I was a teen. I was about to say kid, but you know, I was technically 13. Nice. I congratulate myself. So you get... What in the world are you things? Oh, I know what you are. You're fired. <laughs> this poor creature. It blows up. Oh, that sucks. Later, not my problem. Oh god. Alright, come here, you little bastard. <laughs> think I was 8 years old 20 years ago. Yeah, it's hard to think. It stood in my way. There was no... Listen, Link is a busy man. He has a princess to save, I think? No. He has an extremely pretty uh, lady to save. Technically not a princess. So... If the candle wants to stay in his way, that's just how it's gonna boil down. Oh, where's Ralph? I think Ralph is currently still looking for her. Yeah, Ralph doesn't show up very often. What? What was that? Alright, let me give my bird friend some seed. Open your mouth, friend. Beware deep waters. You son of a bitch. What are you talking about? I'm not saving Zelda. I'm saving, uh... Naru. Dungeon map, good. Also, technically speaking, my name is... Link is Wookie in this game. So, please refer to Link from this day on as Wookie. That is his official canon name. From an official source, aka me. Alright, so there's no reason for me to be here anymore. I feel like I was duped into going here by... My owl friend. Let's go. It is weird to be in a dungeon that technically has two sets of time displacement stuff. There are multiple canon versions of Wokey in the Pokemon universe. As I've mentioned before, there's Wokey from. The, uh, the Wokey the Trainer. There's Wokey the Pokemon. There's Wokey from the <laughs> the version of the game if it was in Viet Vietnam. If Pokemon was set in Vietnam. Compass. Okay. And Vietnam, yeah. Did I start liking Wooper? It was looking at Wooper's card arts in Pokemon. If you look at the Pokemon TCG and all the art of Wooper, they're all amazing. I've never been in Vietnam, but that version of Pokemon the Wookie was. But yeah, look at Wo Wo Wooper art in Pokemon TCG, and they're amazing. Every single one of them immaculate. Basically perfection put onto the screen. Ah! Okay. Candles have to die now. 
I got him off screen. <laughs> yeah. Oh god. Oh god. Don't tell me I have to kill the bat too. Heart. Boom. All right. Let's see. These dudes. I saw small doable for only one. It's possible. As long as you have no deaths, I guess. If you try and use a whooper and a nuzlocke, it becomes a real pain in the ass because all of them take like 5,000 damage from anything. You have to basically wait until they turn into Quagsire. And even then, you're not really protected because <laughs> a single grass type will just completely ruin your day. At least in early gens. Later gens, I think it's a little bit easier. You do get access to Ice Punch and stuff. So I have to go in here, obviously. Really? Use the cane, maybe? Oh yeah, I definitely have to use the cane. Pagsar is also great. I may have a lot of love for Wooper, but I gotta show some respect for Quagsire as well. Both Wooper and Quagsire have a a, a criminal, criminally low amount of fan art. There's never enough, compared to every other Pokemon. But the ones who do make art for it are amazing. Alright, going through. I think this is where I gotta use the bomb. Lotad is also a little bit underrated. Lotad, aka the Pokemon that has a lazy Hispanic version in his <laughs> second evolutionary form. God damn it! Slowpoke is also good. I love Slowpoke. Slowpoke is probably my favorite from the original. <laughs> is it because of what I mentioned? <laughs> I like a load, uh, you ever stone low 10. <laughs> I mean, that's deep respect right there, at least. I swear to God, if this fucking thing stops me again, I'm about to fucking lose my mind. Oh, god damn it. Leave me be. It doesn't help that the stupid ass ghost also pushes me closer to them. Catch these, catch my fade. Link on a warpath. Alright, there we go. We should be fine now. Have you ever watched the Jirachi Wishmaker short featuring, um, uh, featuring? It has a, um, how's the best way to describe? Why am I here? What was the purpose of this room? Do I have to destroy all this? If so, it's gonna take a long ass time. Destroy the anti fairies, maybe? The short in that in the celebrity movie we watched countless times. My sister actually, at a certain point, I told my brother to stop watching it because he would watch it basically every day. Do I go here, maybe? That didn't work. Maybe I bombed the wrong thing? I don't know. Alright, let's get out of here and try that again. Do 
Yeah, but that's where most of my gifts of whoopers come from. Comes from the Pichu Brothers. Damn, it's crazy raining out today, too. I just hear- I just heard it drop. God damn it. Alright, go here. I have to leave completely, I think, if I want to get it um, completely filled up. Wookie Link is 100% super clumsy. He's equally as heroic as he is clumsy. Damn. I don't know why it's raining in California right now. It usually doesn't rain around this time. Usually it's super gusty, but the rain, not so much. Can only mean one thing. Ghosts. There you go, there's some bombs. Oh yeah. <laughs> that was a very mean episode to give children. Yeah. I know there's a certain part where it like actually starts to rain legit in California and it's not just a barren wasteland like it usually is. Let me see. Let me go up here. It's true, you left me. You left me for Canada. Just you're lucky that my good friend Soup is also from Canada. To be fair, if I could go to Canada, I would go to Canada. Eat some Tim Hortons. Maybe, like, say hello to a Mountie. Experience free healthcare. You know, all the things that you get to enjoy as a Canadian. Oh, I don't know where to go next now. Deep water. Worth a shot. Uh, void battle, it depends on which one, because some void battles are supposed to be fought with a very specific weapon, and if you don't have that weapon, it becomes way harder. I just realized if I run out of bombs. Good night, Rangers fan. Thanks for making it. I'm glad you were able to actually make one. Let's see. Maybe if I can, I can go to the future, go to the past now, and see if there's something changed there. Because it doesn't really seem like I can do anything else here. back. Alright, now we're back here. Deep water, beware it. See if anything changed. Oh yeah, this changed. This is open now. Perfect. Bang. 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 Ow. And there they go. 
Oh, these fucking things. Oh god! If I remember right, if I have a shield, I can just dodge them. But I don't have a shield, so... They stole my shield from me. here. Perfect. Everything's coming up to us now. Later bats. I did all that for a compass. All right. What is this? This wasn't here last time. So many secrets. Ah! It's a good thing. <laughs> Link is immune to instant death spikes. Oh god. I have to be very careful here. Okay. I can just go through here. Bitchin'. Oh, hello, Gibdos. Let me go back down, because there's a thing I see here. Not Mario. Don't let my sick jump skills fool you. I'm actually not very good at jumping. Oh hell yeah, risk my life for 10 rupees. <laughs> Wookie's life story. Risked it all for 10 rupees. Gibdo. Don't block my path. Don't make me kill you. Oh god. Uh, okay. What the fuck? Really? It's random? Great. I basically hit a gotcha. Okay, I got the boss key. Is there a boss here? No, there's no boss here. So I have to actually go to the past and kick that boss's ass. But I don't have a key now. Is there a faster way for me to do this? No, there is not. Cool. Could Mario do this? But the funny thing is I think this Link jump is actually very similar to Luigi as opposed to Mario. I have to use the cane. Hocked up on the cane. Go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. Yeah, Link can jump. Years before any other Legend of Zelda game. Years before, um, Skyward Sword. Link had sick hops. On the Game Boy Color. Ah, snake. Do I try and go up there? I don't really see a need for it if it's just two random chests. So I'm just gonna get going. Go, 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 go. It really is. It's one of the greatest handhelds out there. Filled with such amazing games as Pokemon. Red, blue. Gold, silver. Not yet, give him give him a chance. Let me see. A 
Looked like there might be still more stuff for me to go there before I can go back here, so let me actually go back. Like I was saying, um, Pokemon, all seven versions of it on the Game Boy Color, um, Tetris, the, the the Legend of Zelda games, Metroid 2, the sequel to Metroid was on this. That's even crazier when you think about it, is that they made a sequel to Metroid and then they made it Game Boy Color exclusive. That might actually show you Nintendo's thought process with Metroid in general. <laughs> the fact that the sequel of it um, before the Super Nintendo was on here. At least I think that's how the, the timeline works out, is that it goes Metroid 1, Metroid 2, and then Super Metroid. Hello, welcome, Mr. T's friend. Ah! Yeah, there was something for me to do here. We're making our way through the dungeon. Finding all the Gibdos. Not fighting any Gibdos. If I can avoid it, I'm not gonna fight them. Shimmy's too cool. No! I'm sorry. My instant, like, need for this game is to just instantly swing my sword. Well, technically speaking, the games are run at the same time. Depending on which one you play first, that's the first in the series. So if you actually play Seasons first, and you put your passcode, then it's treated as that one was first. But if you do the opposite, then the opposite is true. It's actually pretty cool. It's the only time they've ever done something like that. They don't know it's- do they not know who Mr. T is? Is, do they not know that you're supposed to be Mr. T's friend, or...? That makes me sad if not enough people remember Mr. T. That man boxed Roddy Piper in a very bad match. He deserves your respect. Oh, same. Yeah, go here. One more round. Boom, 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 boom. Let's go. Let's rock. <laughs> Mr. S. Friend? Mr. For S. Friend? I don't know if that's the right way of going it. Not to judge other people saying your name. He was in Rocky 3. Again, Mr. T. A lot of good thought like was in a lot of good things. He was in those AT&T commercials. Call collect, fool. Go collect. Have you ever seen Mr. T's this is obviously obviously no one here has seen it but me. Has anyone ever seen the WWE um, Hall of Fame induction of Mr. T where he spends 20 minutes talking about his mom? It is perhaps one of the greatest <laughs> moments in history. Because everyone, I was watching it live and I was like, this man's really going on a long time. Is this a bit? Is this a joke? And, um, he was like, he was saying things like, I want to thank my mama for carrying me through the painful childbirth process of breaking through the uterus. Something like that. Like, he was talking, like, detailed, detailed things. Uh, you may remember me making a song about your mamas. He's like, he made a song called Respect Your Mama or something. Oh yeah, the WoW commercial, that's great. It's my favorite WoW thing, I think. Uh, it's besides that in the South Park episode, probably. But the South Park episode is just too... It's cheating to say that one's as good as it is. It's what everyone points to. Ouch, pesky kid, take this. Uh, but then, yeah, his Hall of Fame speech was cut off because... Um, the dude who was supposed to go on next came on and he told him, like, you're going a little bit too long. Like, you need to wrap this up. And Mr. C said, uh, oh, I'm sorry, everyone. I went too- th He was, like, very earnest in a way I was like, oh, he was, like, genuinely just talking about how much he loved his mom. 
Uh, it was annoying at the time, because I remember my mom left to go pick up my dad. And when she came back, she left when Mr. T started, and when she was came back, Mr. T was still going on. It was a legendary length. This fucking guy is just gonna not respect me. I'm just gonna shoot him. Really? Oh, you know what I, I know what to do. Really? That's not the answer? Bully, that's it. I'm serious. Oh, I'm gonna die to this idiot. Sure hope not, because it takes a long-ass time to get to him. We're in a stalemate here, because I can't approach him at all. Let's basically stick to the walls. Oh, come on. Finally! He's gonna get me again. Not if I stay here. Eventually he will have to come to me. If you want to play this shit annoying, then guess what, boy? I can play annoying, too. I'm not doing a speedrun here. Get your ass over here and die. Goodbye. Nice try. I pay for my overconfidence, but I'll report this to Varen. You like that? There you go. I can't believe that worked. <laughs> okay, let's see. Stupid ghosts. I mean, yeah, was it cheesy? Yes, did he deserve it? 100%. If it were up to me, I would gladly cheese him like that again. You got a mermaid suit? Oh, okay. Cool. Mermaid suit. Yeah. Fuck that. I don't know what the hell his gimmick was, but I know what his gimmick isn't. Living. Though the, made it, the way he made it sound makes it seem like I might have to fight him again later. Which would be very big suck if it did. Alright, let's go. Whee! So now I can swim here. Ooh! What? This is... Unsettling. What am I... Oh, I see now. What? This is kind of cool. Fish Link. Flinch. Fink. Alright, now let's go back to the past. Oh, I might as well check. Give me a sec, because I'm going to check to see if Star Smash has added anyone. It's a good time to take a little break. Oh, how's everyone doing? Hope you're doing fine. Just doing a quick gotcha checkup. We'll return uh, shortly. Hopefully my phone does not just burst into flames for me attempting to try to log in while also using it for data. I could also just check Twitter, but they're so slow. I don't know why they take so long. Alright, nothing. 
Let's get back to the game. What was I doing? Want those Robo Girls? I mean, they're very good. They know what they're doing. There's really no re there's no justifiable reason for you to pull before the anniversary, and they know that, so they released very hot Android women. I know what they're doing, and it's almost gonna work on me. But not yet. Die, fool. There we go. I'm just gonna go over here where you can't possibly touch. <laughs> I saw the explosion from the barbed wire ring. Uh, let me tell you, that's a very common thing that occasionally happens in barbed wire death matches. From what I re from what I recall of it, because I saw like I've only seen clips of it so far, it looked like a perfectly good one of those. Um. Yeah, there has to be Galanaut, and Narmea have to be showing up pretty soon. Um, but getting back to AEW, an exploding ring deathmatch is basically all about the ending to it, so the fact that the ending screwed up, I would be extremely pissed. I know, and I think Kenny has said, or at least backstage, people are saying Kenny's not ha happy about what happened with the ring, and I wouldn't be either. I think that's a very justifiable mistake. I think they're trying to play it off as like, ha, huh, he didn't build a functioning ring, but it's very clearly like, that was never the plot. That was supposed to always be an actual exploding ring. But what can you do, man? Live shows. People will talk about it for sure. I don't think it's vindi uh, indi indicative of troubles in AEW or anything, or their inability to put on a specific match. And I died! Woo! I can already tell this is going to be extremely annoying. Oh, and I have to do this shit again. But yeah, the... It's pretty funny what happened. Because it was a pretty good match up until that point. No, she's not. But everyone's expecting there to be a gala knot based off of stuff happening in the story. Because all gala units are, f like, foreshadowed in... What is going on? Ever since I got this stupid mermaid thing, it changes the way I have to swim. Which is very unfortunate. I need you to not hit me. Because where I'm about to go, it's going to be ten times worse if I get hit. So can I just... Maybe the problem is... There we go. I have to use my B for something else. Yeah. It's a shame, but... That's what happens with exploding barbed wire death matches. They're extremely brutal matches. And also, it's super easy to screw up. It's why, um, I think Sabu said that the only way he would ever do them in ECW is if they paid him up front first. Because they take a big toll on the person, they can go easily bad, and ECW didn't have a lot of money, so show me my money now before you do anything. Yeah. Well, some people are saying it's the, the, the guy from... It's the dude. He would be the 1.5 year anniversary unit. The guy, the the mayor of Grams. Which would make sense, but I also feel like it's way more likely for it to just be not. Ha! <laughs> for it to not be him. For it to be Galanaut, I mean. Oh god, this is, does not control amazing. It controls the opposite of amazing. Snake! Here we go. 
Maybe? I don't know. I, I, it, it's not like it has to be someone directly related to the prince, because the last 1.5 year anniversary was Gal Alex. So... It has to just be someone connected to the story as it's going along, currently. And I think that's more likely for it to be not than anyone else. Later. Fish, 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 fish. Oh god. Oh, this sucks. This was not meant to be controlled with an analog stick. <laughs> this was meant to be controlled with a D-bed. And it shows. Okay. Boom, there we go. Okay. Let's go. Let's go to the boss room, hopefully. Hopefully. Dum, 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 dum. Eyeballs. See, is this the right way? No, it's not. I'm in fact going the wrong way. Yeah, but we didn't get those until, um, we didn't get them until, what was I trying to say? We didn't get them until they were relevant to the story. So we've had Leonidas in the game for a very long time, but he didn't become an actual character until he was relevant in the story to the point where he was on our side. And the way, so it doesn't matter if, like, they show up, what's the basic sign is who's currently hot in the story as it goes right now because it took a very long time for those characters to be eventually made into um galley units Big boom. Jump, jump. E, we, yep, yep. Alright, know where I need to go now. Oh, come on. I know why they did this, but it's very annoying that it's like built like that. Go here, go here, go here, go here. Get that. Takes a little bit of that. Go here. Then, let me see what's here. Doesn't look like anything, but it could be something. Oh, of course. What in the name of hell? This room, it gives me bad eyesight. <laughs> Alright, there we go. Go in here. Swim! Swim! Get back here, you damn snake. Okay. What is the core? Um, it is training horses. That's basically the core gameplay. Um, you train them... Yeah, I don't know what else to say other than you train them. And then you can play PvP with them and stuff, but for the most part you are training horses. That is where the core of the game is. Watching them race, training them. Um, I think I did a video saying like this is basically what you do for most of the game if you want to check that out. But that's really all, the, for the most part, what you do. It's like a visual novel style like approach to training. I'm trying to think of like the best way of saying how it plays, but you'd have to be- it plays like a- PS2 visual novel, I guess, is the way I've kind of described it. But if you've never played one of those before, then it's probably very confusing. 
but there's like st stats in the game that you pump into them and there's specific like choices. It's like a choose your own adventure book. Have you ever read a choose your own adventure book? Think about that, but with training. And each trying you train, it's different results and stuff. Kind of like that. Hopefully that makes some form of sense, but... Maybe one day I'll just do a stream of Pretty Derby and you can actually see what you do. Because for the most part it's a lot of training and watching horses <laughs> run around. Go here. Okay, let me see. Yes, for the most part, you are watching them run, but it's like it's hard. It's very hard to describe. It's not like an like they're specifically the reason that they're playing auto is because you've set them to have very specific style of stuff. So basically, you lose control the second that it's um. There we go. Um. Like, you don't- you're not specifically racing. You're building the horse to race during the fight itself, and then the specific skills it has, and depending on how you built it, like, so no two horses will perform the same way in the same race. Even if you train them to be very specific, it kind of depends on what kind of- how you built them stat-wise and how they kind of go. It's very hard to explain. I wish there was an easier way to explain it, but... Yeah, for the mo you're not actually controlling them. They are doing their own. Once it's time to race, it's out of your control. It's up to them to actually win. What in the hell? Oh, I see what to do now. It's a good thing he hit me down here. a pretty easy boss now. Oh, come back here. But in terms of what's actually important for the game, you can't auto what the game is basically telling you to do. So the, the, the training of it, there's no way to auto the training. And the training is actually more important than the race itself. So... I wish that I wish there was another game that played like it to make it make more sense. But I'm really drawing a blank as to what plays like it. There we go. Not exactly, because you're not actually gambling on the horses. You're building the horses. You want them to win every single time. There's no actual racetrack, um... There's no actual racetrack elements. Like, you're not betting on your horse like, Oh, I think she's gonna win last in this one. Because there's nothing of that. I have great news. Queen Ambie has just left the palace. Now is your chance. This might be your only opportunity to save Naru. Okay, so I guess it's off to the palace now. Oh god, I'm never gonna get used to the swimming. They've changed swimming on me and it's never gonna be the same. Let me see if I can currently do the entirety of the um, the sword quest before we begin, because it would help a whole bunch if I had a better sword. Let me see. So let me see. Trading sequence. Currently we're on the dog mask, I think.
Yeah, I think we can, so... Okay. Let's go in here. How's Yakuza Online and Fago? It's doing good. Whoa, what's going on here? What in the hell? That kid's dark. I need to give him a jokester book or something. Yeah, they're both going good. No real complaints. Fago CCC finally ended so I can start playing again like normal. Go here. Nope, not you. Never eat sour. She's somewhere down here. The lady I need specifically. That's the tower, so I think I'm a little bit too far. This might be it. No, it's just a weird man with a cane. Yeah, CCC is a hell for many. I already did it once and I, I beat it completely, but it really is. And I really like the story and stuff around CCC, but actually playing CCC, I would rather do so many other things. <laughs> oh, there's Ralph. All right, Ralph, you say it, dude. <laughs> All right. Well, I guess we may as well save her. Let me see. How many of the other treasure things do we have? Yeah, we still need two more. So, we'll get it after we save her. It, we don't really need it, but it does make things go by much quicker. I need to remember not to be caught by the guards. or I'll be screwed over. Alright, so basically this is a sneaking mission now. Alright, good. If we're caught, we have to basically start over, so try not to get caught. Ah, oh, shit, he saw me. Ow. Fool, I, I go where I please. Oh, hello. What does that say? Scadmaro, thank you for following. Go ahead, go here. Boom, easy. Thankfully, I now know that there's no real consequences to being caught. Out of my way, fools. Hello, Scade Mordor, there you go. Sorry, it's a little hard for me to read sometimes. I have bad eyesight, but I can see you there. Hello, welcome to the stream. We're here to go save Naru. I'm touching buttons that we shouldn't be touching. Again, you never know what to what to expect with this game. It is extremely cool, and it's crazy that it was on the Game Boy Color. It's not the greatest stealth sequence, because, <laughs> because it's very easy for you to just trick them. But that's kind of what I expect out of that. It's decent enough. It's something different to play for just a little bit. All right, let's go. Let's go save Naru. Fish. Damn you, whirlpools. Blending into the background so I can't see you. How dare you. Fish. All right, let's go. Mm-hmm, it's the Oracle of Ages. It's really good. We played this one first, and then later on I'm gonna do Seasons. Yes, we do. Oh, god damn it! Uh, I was about to just take a swing at them with my sword before I realized, oh wait, I would get caught. Probably shouldn't do that. Let's go. Listen, the best kind of stealth AI is... Shit, 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 go, 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 go. Where in my house is 4220. 
Shit, 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 shit. They can't catch me. They can't catch me. Okay, thank god. We don't get kicked out. We just get infinitely stun locked. <laughs> That's somehow better than actually getting kicked out of here. Uh, but what was I saying? Yeah, the, the best stealth sequences are ones that are not too hard. Because the harder the stealth is, the more annoying the actual game is. The only exception, I guess, is Splinter Cell, whose spe specific thing is all about that. you come so far. Wait! <gasps> Do you mean to turn your sword on me? Ha ha ha, if you want to hurt Naru, then go right ahead. Let me see. Uh, keep reading the story. <laughs> it's a very easy solution to that, and it's, you can find it by reading the story. Alright, so I think I have to stun her. So I'm gonna hit her with the stink, the stink eggs. That didn't work. Nope, that didn't work either. So let me try using... Oh yeah? You think so, jackass? Damn it! Damn you, limited item slots. She really does just get knocked out cold dead. Boink! Alright, I can play this game all day. So if you think you can just keep on doing this, I got all day, lady. I ain't got nowhere else to be. Eventually you will have to show yourself. <laughs> it is really funny how she just kind of gets knocked out. <laughs> She's like, oh, I'm done. Not bad at all. Just wait until next time. All right, we did it. Game over. What is this commotion? Huh, Wokey? Where are we? Are you truly Naru? You seem different. You seem nice. Ha ha ha. The queen comes with impeccable timing. Good job, queenie. Everything's going bad. We've given her a much stronger body. The body of a queen suits me just as fine. Do you know what I'm going to do now? Let me tell you. Meet the petrified ones. I shall catch them all. All the Pokemon. Bet your mom gotta catch them all. Naru! Is it you? Is it really Naru? Ralph, I'm sorry to make you worry. I'm fine now. Let us return to our own age. He, what are you doing? Catch them now. Did you forget that we can time travel? Because we totally can. Thank you, Wookie. We safely pried me from Varen's grip. Now all the strange things that happen in the land should return to normal, except for it totally isn't. Oh no, except for that part. Yeah, the kid's okay. Yay! Kids on Petrified. All the monkeys come back to life. They get- <laughs> they come back from being Thanos twisted out of existence. Snapped. Baron's still in the past, right? If she is, then she can't still create an Age of Darkness that would continue in the present. Sorry, Wokey, I was the one running around while you did the saving. But know this, I'll be the one to stop Varen. I won't leave the people to the past to hurt evil deeds. Forgetting about Varen now would be foolish. If we do, she'll come for Naru again. Ralph, just like you said, I'll help in what little way I can. Wookie, you have the Harp of Ages. I want you to keep it for now. I'm sure it will continue to aid you. Now let me teach you the last tune, which will unlock the true power of the Harp of Ages. You learned the tune of time. Play it to move back and forth between past and present. Choose to play it on the harp. Wookie, you fool! And then I get Kamehameha out of existence. As we guessed, saving Naru was for naught. Ambi's age is filled with cries of sorrow. Varen has extended the Dark Realm's reach, giving us what we seek. Echoing cries of sorrow, spread darkness, spread sorrow. Alright. What was that? 
I can't take this, Wookie. I'm going to back to Ambi's age first. May fate bring us back together. Fate slash Oracle Vages. There's little else I can do, so in return home for now, stop by any time. For a goddess of time, she really does not actually use her time powers very well. What's going on? What does it mean if they're behind Varen's deeds? Wookie, the next essence? That's weird, an essence is echoing from inside a fish. It's time to go inside the great Gabu Gabu. Jabu Jabu is actually the right way of saying it, but... Let me see, where am I right now? Let's see, let's see. Maku tree that way. We need to find the lady. What is this man? Mirror Lena City. Hmm. Oh, I can take this. So I will. What? Damn, I need the extended reach. Fine. Let's go here. I think we can visit Baby Lurp. I think he's- yeah. oh no. Lurp has gotten better, thank you. I'm glad. Let's see, my boy is well so I can rest. That's great. Inside of Gasha, not more than anything, find magic rings. Cool. That's good. Last we checked, I think Lurp was in terrible shape, but now he's getting better. Old lady seems happy. Glad to see it. We need to find that lady who really likes dogs. Not old man with big mustache. Yeah, good old baby Lurp. Grown up into eventually a very fine raccoon person. Let's go here. There she is! I'm Mamuyan, the top reader in town. My dog is much cuter than that dog, much cuter, but my dog is very shy. Well, that dog mask fits my dog perfectly. Let me have that dog mask. Yes. Good boy, you deserve the toy that my dog played with. You got a dumbbell, but there's only one. What's wrong, boy? I only had one to begin with. Alright, so we got a dog mask for that dog. If we go back in, will we see the dog wearing the dog mask? No. Alright, so now we have to go to the other place, which is... Nope. Zoom! If I remember right, it's the dude with the mustache over here. In Symmetry Village. I think this is the right place. We go down here. And then this weird guy. I'll work out, except I only have one dumbbell. Sway left, sway right. Well, lucky for you, I have exactly what you need, sir. Now he's gonna get super swollen and get all the women. He just rip off his mustache. <laughs> that was maybe the strangest. I don't feel comfortable talking to that man. I'm leaving. You should not have that man in your house. extremely dark child and make him laugh with our cheesy mustache. That will make him not depressed. Only darkness can ease my heart. What, really? Is that not what I need to do? I thought for sure the cheesy mustache would make him feel happy, but clearly I was wrong.
Okay, I know where to go now. We need to find a man who would want that mustache over a joke. So let me see. Shit. <laughs> that was an accident. I shouldn't put it in such an easy to reach spot. Put it here. I just want to make people laugh. Here you go, sir. An easy way to make someone laugh is to have a funny mustache. You learned a funny joke. Alright, now we're gonna go back to the extremely depressed child and tell him a funny joke. Who are you? Well, welcome to the darkness of my troubles. I'm so depressed. I want to laugh until I forget everything. Then I'd be happy. Huh. Tell him the funny joke? Yes. I mean, this is a pretty funny, fucking funny joke. If this kid doesn't laugh, then he's just forever do- It's still going! <laughs> huh. What's that? Huh. Oh. That's so funny. I forgot to laugh. Thanks. Thanks to you, I can be as depressed as I want to be. You can take any book you want from that bookshelf. Yay! I don't think he found it funny, I think he just got more depressed somehow. <laughs> Alright, who do we give this book to now? Okay, so now we can just continue on with the adventure. Okay, let's see... We need to go... to Jabba's place. But I don't know what that is on here. Maybe it's down here? Let me try. Emo kid and Wookie make jokes? Yeah. That's how, that's how they get down. I went to the wrong place. I was using the wrong item. I think there's a way for me to get a hard piece here though, so I'm just gonna go here real quick. Perfect. Oh, what is... Oh, I can't afford any of this. Cool. Alright, we're leaving. But when we get 500, we'll know where to go. This is what I need. It looks like I can just... Okay, let me see if I can go to the side. I can go into the deep water now, right? 
Yeah, I can, because I have the fancy mermaid stuff. Okay. Alright, let's go find King Jabu Jabu and get inside his belly. Oh, here's my raft from a long time ago. <laughs> This should help us. Hmm. Okay, not this way. Not that way. Hmm. It has to be somewhere here. Hey, there's my shield. Give me back my goddamn shield. Thieves. Okay, so yeah. Hmm. So if I try going down here, maybe I'll find a better... Oh god. Gonna be a lot of fish searching. No, 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 no. Go, 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 go. I don't know what they are. I think they're dinosaurs. I've been calling them Yoshi knockoff dinosaurs. But they're a bunch of thieves. Capitalist Yoshis. A long time ago, I, the, the shield was stolen from me. A long time ago. I just never got it back. Until just now. <laughs> oh, hello, Lerp. You missed it, but we checked on baby Lerp. He's doing fine. He's gonna live. Let me see. If I go up here... Go here... Very likely tax evasion, though. If we can be real with it. Oh, what is that? Give me that. I found this scrap wood by the sea. It's weird, but I've been waiting here for a long time, but the owner hasn't come to claim it. I guess you can have it. I've been polishing it for many years, so it's very shiny. Hell yeah! Aw. This is the one good dude of these that we actually met. Iron Shield. Alright, let's go. I mean, that's cool. Thank you. Alright. Let's go. We need to find where King Jabu Jabu lives. And there's only one way we can really test it, and that's by going by the sea. Jabu? See, this part of the game is harder for me to remember where to go, because it's just- it just tells you go somewhere? Find Jabu? They do kind of look like little polytoads. Like, uh, maybe in beta polytoads, similar to beta whooper. Okay, now let me try using this. Maybe we'll go somewhere cool. No, that's what it's called. It's called Politoed. You said the right name. If 
fishy, fishy, fishy. Finding the fishy. This looks like a place I can go up in. I was wrong! No, not yet. But to be fair, I've I've been training her very slowly. Yeah, finals no. I got screwed over by that um stamina check and I ended up saving it for another day. I train very slowly. I train one hard four squirrel at a time. Because training takes so long. So unbelievably long. That is Robo Horse. That's what I call her anyway. Mecha Horse. You can call Rare Bin by many things. She's cool. I like, I kind of like how she's built up. She reminds me very much of the other one that I got as well. Hello, Zora. The sea beyond here swallowed up a hole. Who venture into them? The sea of storms. I can't allow a child like you to pass. Alright, so... That can only mean one thing. <laughs> Go to the future. Robo Horse is cool, man. There's a free- I think they gave out a free multi, too, so you can just- <gasps> The bastards. So you can just, um... What's the word I'm looking for? Reroll. You can just reroll. How am I supposed to stop this man? From what I remember, it doesn't. I never- I didn't do it, but it doesn't suck, I think. I think I found where I need to be, but... Hold up. But now the real question is, how do I get there? Oh, okay, I see what to do now. Apparently this is what I had to do. I had to go back to the Wrath Man. It is extremely complex. There is no denying that horse is extremely, um, complex. Oh, I see what you need. We don't need to go back to Wrathman, but I know who's the next person on the trade list. Okay. Yeah, it's, it takes a lot of time. If it was in English, it would be like ten times easier. And even then, it would still be very hard. It's a spreadsheet game for sure. I'm just slowly learning what everything does, and then just trying to remember keep that to memory. It's not easy though. There's Azora. This is not where I need to go. Damn it. Is it another dude from <laughs> the trading? Well, at least now I know I can get the trading pretty easy now. Uh, 
Okay, so I need apparently a magic potion. So it's time to go find a magic potion somewhere. Yeah, the feeling you get in Pretty Derby from winning is unlike any other game. It's actually kind of amazing. Go, 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 go. Yeah, you can gamble right now, but there's really nothing for me to do right now. <laughs> Not until, um... I find where to go next, so... What? I'm going to be a princess. Princess Monkey. Princess Mona Monkey. I think I'm funny. Go here. Jesus, that sound. Okay. Now that we have that, where do we go? Now we can go back to where we were. Oh, that's unfortunate. Alright, cool. Back on it. and trash uh, alliance. is a co-founder of Trash Alliance. 
He's the entire reason it's called that. Oh god. Almost dead. A horrible death. Yeah, that's, um, Princess something? Princess Precon. It, it's the thing that had a, um, collab with Dragalia. Ow! Sorry, I hit the mic. That's bad. So that means I have to go forward. Yeah, precon. I don't know how to pronounce it. <laughs> hmm. Ah, excuse me. Alright, there we go. We're getting there. Slowly but surely. surprised but no I was just here wasn't I so this isn't actually the way maybe I have to go under water yeah the answer is go underwater dumb dumb Hello, fishman. Where are we here? Excuse me as I quickly destroy something. What are these lampposts? They look like giant eyeballs. I'm going here real quick. Let's go visit the king. Maybe he'll want to talk to us. The king is dead. Oh god. Maybe this Zora knows what's up. Alright. Mm hmm. I am. I am having fun using Hoi Toy. Yeah, Umo must me. I was about to say, we don't have- I didn't even know that there were guilds in Precom. I think it's crazy how high you have to be to actually join a guild in, in Pretty Derby, by the way. Jabu Jabu. How come so many- what in the hell?
This is maybe the most detailed fish-like Jabu Jabu I've seen, and it's actually kind of scaring me. Hello, big fish. That's a real big fish. But the big fish doesn't want to open his mouth to me, so I'm gonna have to find out why. Perfect. <laughs> I'm glad everyone's got to the fish. It's really big for no reason, really. Yeah, when, as pre in previous streams, we have established that fish fuck. So I can't imagine. Mm, I don't want to imagine. What's up with Jabu Jabu over there? I wonder if Jabu Jabu's still gonna be there. Oh, <gasps> baby fish. Boop boop. Baby fish. It's fucking adorable. Look at him. He grows to be so huge. Bobby fish. Along with Bobby Lurp. This is a huge baby. This is the baby run. Here he is. The pain! Yeah, sure, why not? It's either that or the death of an entire creature. <laughs> this looks suspect. The filthy water that flowed through the east lately has been made to me ill. I will never forget you. A big fish? Do you mean Jabu Jabu? But Jabu Jabu is the guardian of the Zoros. Okay, I won't call him a fish. Alright, I'll come back later. Now that we've saved the king, we're basically royalty. Before we leave, I do want to visit baby, baby Jabu real quick. I think this is a very adorable tiny fish. Look at him! It's adorable. Alright, let's go back to your adult form. Let's go back. Okay. Yeah, Lerp ended up making... Yeah, what he said. He ended up making his... He ended up joining a random one. Just because I didn't really play it. Great healer, what do you ask? Do you wish to enter Jabu Jabu? My permission is needed to enter Jabu Jabu, but I can't permit just anyone to see our guardian. Anyhow, the filthy seawater has left Jabu Jabu near death. If say you must, then find a way to get rid of those filthy seawater and save Jabu Jabu. Sure. Yay, library key. Alright, let's go to the library. Obviously, that means Baby Lurp is, lur is royalty. Th that is a future... A future royalty waiting to happen. That's clear to everyone. That's why we're saving Baby Lurp so much. For the day for him to take his throne. We're like, um, who's those dudes? We're like those dudes. <laughs> End statement. I was trying to think of the Lord of the Rings character who basically just saved royalty, and I could not for the life of me remember. Aragorn. There you go. What is this? Well, I'm leaving. I am still playing Dungeon uh, Dragon Quest XI. It just takes me a very long time. I had to- all my gotchas were keeping me busy. So that's also the reason I don't want to play any more gotchas, is because it prevents me from playing real games. 
So I'm currently perfectly fine with the number I have at the moment, because they're all easy to kind of handle for the most part. Any more and I'll implode. Here we go. I had to find the library, but I have no idea where the fuck the library is. <laughs> he just said E-Stringer. Oh, wait. Don't think as Noble Sea Zoro is the same as those Savage Vulgar River Zoros. So there's a difference? That's news to me. Uh, I can totally stream it if people are interested in it. Oh, he talks in the manga? I mean, that makes sense. You can't- it's- it's way harder to have a silent protagonist in a manga. Doesn't make much sense. How do I find the library? Is this the library? East of King Zora's palace. Never. Joy. Let's go. Roll. Okay. Use the key. So we need a book. Stops at Minish Cap? That makes sense. That's basically the last of the Capcom games. Let's see if we can find it in here. Such is the power sometimes. Can I have the book, please? Give book. I need book. Clicking on things by accident. <laughs> I'm not supposed to take looks in a library. Are you sure? It seems like there's no reason for that man not to give me that book. I don't know, maybe if I go here, I'll find something. Hello, Octorok. I mean, I believe this, but I am the Queen Fairy, Guardian of the Sea. The curse of an evil one named Varen has made me pierce up. Alright. Maybe now that old man will give me the book if I tell him an Octorok pretending to be the Fairy Queen told me to get the book. And once again, play the song of my people.
Thank you, old man. Was that really all I needed for the book? <laughs> I guess I needed the fairy powder, but then Blink was like, I don't really need the fairy powder, so why should I solve this? And then once it became like, hey, get the fairy powder, he's like, alright. Let me stop fucking around. Let me go get the fairy powder, I guess. Wait, what did it say? 4 2 2? One, two, three, four. What? Does that not count? Oh, you know what I can just do? One, two, three. Two. Shit! Two up, one. The biggest brain. Two, one, three. One, three, one. How you like that old man? What? Okay. That worked out. I'm pretty sure that's not the way they want you to do it, but I did it that way. Why? See, I was using my library smarts. Sprinkle, sprinkle, sprinkle. Yay! Now we should be able to get into Jabu Jabu now. I mean, right? That would only make sense. No. I mean, old man exist. <laughs> Spongebob did not create old man. Alright. Why can't I move? There we go. Let's go to the future now. Because now we need to get inside that fish mouth. The... Almost. We need to first find... <laughs> we need to find the right place to play the harp. You know what, here's a good idea. Cause let me just... Already? What are you gambling on? Right, let's see. Okay. 
All right, big fish. Let's go talk to the king, and then get up inside that giant fish. Thank you, sir. To the big fish. Thank you, Jabu. <laughs> I can't believe they made an entire level where you can't use the B button. Why would they do this? This is the most cruel thing they could do. I have heard of Kyux. Kingdom Heart United something? Kingdom Hearts Univision. Go here. Yeah, you can still fall while swimming. So that works out great for me. I think I have to use the cane here. This really sucks. I can't use the cane? Are you fucking kidding me? This level might break me. This might actually be the worst level in the game. Because I only have access to one of my fucking slots. Because the other one has to be B. up somewhere. Oh boy. Don't eat my iron shield, you piece of shit. There we go. Am I back at the start? Yeah, I am. Can you guys hear me from over here, by the way? I want to know if I can lay back. You sure can push buttons in this corner. Cool. Oh. You really didn't do me like this? Push blocks? Just slightly further? No. Oh. Alright, I need to do it to... If, if, if the long stream is gonna keep on going, I need to have some comfort for my back. I will try and be a little bit louder. But as long as you guys can hear me, it's fine. Uh, what? Now I'm super confused. Can I use two items here? I can. Cool, cool, cool. Them changing my button has been really detrimental to everything. I can't even reach it. There's no reason for me to come down here. So this is obviously where we get the level 2 version of this. But we need to get it quickly, because apparently everything just uses it. Nope, can't push blocks. 
There are many things that Fishling can do, and that's not one of them. realize I'm stupid. <laughs> I don't know why. I didn't realize that till just now. Have I played OG Final Fantasy 7? Not more than like 10 hours. But it's also because it runs like at 600 FPS on a PC. So it was like really weird to play. Alright, there has to be a key somewhere for me to use it. Where Enix does not. What, what am I, Lerp? If I'm not running at maximum frames, am I really playing a video game? Where am I? I'm trapped like a fish. I feel like I'm going insane. But I don't see where to go. There's nowhere that can use a key, and I can't move this. Unless... Of course, and I've lost the access to my B button now. No, but I can't go here. So where the hell do I go? Okay, I had to look it up because I just had no idea. <laughs> I, there was no way for me to figure this out. There was no way I personally was going to be able to figure this out. There you go, that's what you were supposed to do! <laughs> Would be easily be able to. Will I rage quit this level and go to bed? And by go to bed, I mean wait to go to bed in like how many more? Six more hours.
And now I'm swimming, even though I'm not in swimming. It's really bad. The swimming controls have completely fucked me. Alright, let me go down here. Is that really not the answer? Okay. What the hell? <laughs> Damn sea monsters. Assaulting me. Oh wait, I can use my shield for these guys, I think. Well, I totally can. Yes, and by the way, this is all inside a fish. Jabu Jabu ate some bad shit. I don't know, he ate an entire dungeon. I think that makes the water rise. Yeah, it's intense. Yeah, now that you mention it, I don't really remember them all that much. Yeah, this is the undersea level. Okay. Right? No. No, no, no. Moldorn. Why did the name fell? Diglet creatures. That wasn't enough to open it? Okay. Thank you for the small key. did the wrong thing. Hmm. No, probably not. I probably can't do that now. There's some puzzles I can totally do right now. I can use the cane, finally. Thank the lord. I also don't like that, um, the walls seem to be breathing. That's kind of disturbing.
But then there, there have been 2D Zelda games since then, too, and they, I guess they don't appear in there. What then? Why not there? Eternal question. Ow. Ow. The walls always have eyes? I've never noticed. Stupid anti-fairy. Ruining my life. Is that supposed to be like the eye of the bad guy looking at me? Because I don't appreciate it. Stupid anti fairies. They're gonna be the end of me. Ow! It is kind of like being in Majin Buu, except for less deadly. I would much rather be inside Jabu Jabu's stomach than. Kid Boo, if I was to have a choice. Because Kid Boo would just turn you into a weird cocoon. Jabu Jabu, if you're in his mouth, it's because it's an accident. Or because you need to, like, find a princess or do something inside his stomach. He's not a malicious man, fish. I mean, yeah, they've, they've been extremely nice so far. No complaints from me. Because they told me to come inside. Wait, what? Um, I was trying to phrase that without sounding wrong, because I was about to say I was told to come inside Jabu Jabu. But that's basically what the tree told me. Like, there's the next essence is inside, come, is inside the fish. So I have to come inside the fish and find <laughs> what I need. You know, we can be mature about it. As I get progressively more tired so that my words aren't thinking. What? It's fine. We're gonna make through this. Okay, there's nothing here for me to do. I just wanted to check that before I went off. <laughs> Either way, Jabu Jabu needs our help. And we help Jabu Jabu, so now Abu Jabu, Jabu Jabu has opened his mouth to us and let us inside him. Like all good fishes. Yeah, we did have a combo about that. You're right. No, you're right. I'm just saying. There's a lot of sex talk in King Jabu Jabu. Not King Jabu Jabu. Jabu Jabu the Guardian. Now that I think about it, has Jabu Jabu been in every single game of Legend of Zelda? I want to say that almost every single one of them has a part where you go inside Jabu Jabu. I'm trying to think of a game where maybe the original Legend of Zelda didn't have Jabu Jabu? What started the tradition is what I'm saying. There's a catfish in Link to the Past. But no Jabu, really? Then what started the Jabu? I, I could have sworn Jabu was originated in Link to the Past, but if you're saying he's not in there, then I don't... Ocarina of Time? Yeah, there's a big fish in Ocarina of Time. That's Jabu Jabu. He's also in, um... You think? So does that mean these games came out after Ocarina of Time? That can't be right. The timeline sounds messed up. I 
forgot how long the Game Boy Color actually lasted. That's a long, long life cycle. If Game Boy Color games were still coming out with the N64. What the hell? Alright, now we wait for the fish to come here. Okay, he doesn't want to show up. What the hell? That's a new interaction I didn't know. That makes this seem way more sadistic. He's also in Seasons. So yeah, maybe Ocarina of Time is what started the Jabu Jabu tradition. Oh, don't tell me you have to fucking lower the- oh. Unbelievable. You can't push blocks, you can't open locks with bo- mm. mm. Be you fucking fish. Jellyfish, to be accurate. Maybe. No, Link Lerp just said he wasn't in. So it really did start. Yeah, catfishes predict earthquakes. Oh, baby Jesus. Baby Jesus, help me through these trying times. As the great gut of Jabu Jabu slowly drives me insane. Protect me from the fish and all the evil the fish brings. Amen. Get over here, Krabby. Jabu Kafula? I don't know about that. Is that canon? Because that don't sound canon to me. It's not like you can't, um understand him. You can perfectly understand him. How many floors is Jabu Jabu? How many fucking things are inside this fish? Oh, <laughs> I guess that is true. Oh, thank the Lord. Lord, take the wheel. I took that damage to feel the pain. To feel again. I 
I don't know, I've never played Majora's. I ne well, I have played Majora's Mask, but I haven't beaten the entire thing. Wouldn't it, isn't it when you get the rocker? The rocker, Zora? And maybe that's where you would find Jabu Jabu? I, I can't imagine them not using Jabu in Majora's Mask because they reused everyone for Majora's Mask. This would be good to do before the water rises. <laughs> I was about to say El Chapo? I thought you said Chapo Chapo, and I was like, whoa, El Chapo the f giant fish. <laughs> oh, of course. Why am I not surprised? The 3DS version is the version I played. There's a bunch of time-saving stuff on it that made it seem like the original was a nightmare. That'd be nice. Who knows if it happens, though. Okay, so we can't go there. Oh, duh. What? Why would they do this to me? Am I crazy? But how? <sighs> I could have swore when I when I went to go push it to the side, it did not open the key. So if I'm gonna go back there, and it turns out that I just wasn't pushing hard enough for the stupid key to activate, I'd be extremely pissed.
Alright, so that's not the answer. So I need to find a way... ...to lower the water level again. But without using that one. No, there's not- there's nothing I can do there. Block? Doesn't look like I can use the block. But that doesn't really change anything because the second I leave... This is- this is the way to go back when you're there already. See? But the second I leave... It goes back to normal. So I have to lower the raw- the water stuff from... over there. So I need to find the third one. So I need to find the room I'm missing. It looks like it's up there. That's the thing, is that when I went to go check it, there was something blocking it. So there's something else here. No, it wasn't. It's not all down. So I need to find another one. No, don't go there. Oh no, actually it's fine. Because I can go back there because it's the, the mini-boss teleport. Maybe if I go here... No, because that requires me to have the new glove, which I don't have. The level 2 version of this item. So let me see. Go over here? was even the puzzle here, though? Because it's not kill all the enemies. Yep, I was right. There is no puzzle here to solve. The puzzle is... This game has bad detection because of this fucking terrible fucking... Zora suit shit. So we can't detect that I'm on the block. So I have to go back there and keep on pressing it until I unlock the block. Alright. I don't mind if it's a puzzle that stumps me. But when it's literally because the controls aren't good enough to recognize what I'm doing. Like, you can hear me. There we go! Fuck! Out of your fucking mind with that. <laughs> My god. Alright, so where do we go now? Because it- this opens up everything. Don't- don't you dare say, did I solve it. There was no solution. The solution was that they didn't fucking detect that I could touch it. 
There was nothing. There was nothing to solve. <laughs> and the stupid game wouldn't recognize that I was touching the block. Oh, I hate the sword flipper shit. I want to leave. Forever. On the bonus side, it's long. Woo! Out of my way. Alright. Pretty sure this is the one that needs me to be long. It is not. There's so many at this point. This one needs to have the water level lower. <laughs> so now I have to go back to the water level. Yeah, there's no such thing as a good water level. All of them are bad. The change to the Zora flippers to make it a mermaid suit has only resulted in the game becoming worse. So let's go here, long. I bet the last one will drain all the water. Nope, nope. <laughs> it's nice that ab absolutely every enemy can be defeated by the long claw. Give me the key, thank you very much. Oh, okay. Now we know the answer to that. Back on solving it. I just need to find the right thing. I think this way is to the water pressure being released because now we need it all lowered. Is super long. No, no touch. Closer and closer to death I go. I was about to say, why didn't it let me use my sword at that exact moment? That's okay. I say I need another key. Click. Okay. So now I need a key. No, no key in sight. But it's fine. Go down here.
Wait, I feel like I did the wrong thing. Because <laughs> now there's more water. Oh, was this the answer all along? Was the cancer all along get more water? Yes, because now I can go in here. Found a small key. Everything's coming up great. What happens if I go here? Well, there's the answer to one of my questions. The good thing is, is that I at least know where to go now. The only thing is actually getting there. That's the part where my brain is trying to remember exactly where to go, and I think this is the right way. Don't push me underwater, sir. I don't appreciate it. It's been a very long day, and I just want to say goodbye to Mr. Jabu Jabu. I want off of Mr. Jabu Jabu's wild ride. Oops. That's... <laughs> oh, I, it ended up working fine. Wait, will there be something here? No. Alright, question answered. One moment, because someone might be coming home. So, quick break.
All right, I'm back. I had to use uh, the bathroom. Whew. Long stream, man. Long stream. Thank you very much for everyone. <laughs> I had three jobs. It's okay. It didn't last as long as I thought it would. Yeah, I was afraid that, um... I was just afraid. So let's continue on. Let's go. I still hope to actually be- Oh, man. <laughs> yeah, you have to mod from... You never know which one is going to go crazy at any given time. It's basically VO. VO at any time is just gonna start posting. Like, feed pics or something. Of dogs. <sighs> Not to seed. <sighs> Alright, so... I know what I have to do. I, I, I have to um, do it this way, because I have to get that key. I should have realized it, that I was going to have to do that puzzle eventually. I was kind of hoping that it was just a gotcha seed inside, but apparently it's not. So, we got this though. I also drank water, because I had not- <laughs> I did not drink water at all. It's tough, man. Trying to talk for more than three hours with no water. <laughs> Your throat gets dry. Okay. Go down here. You've done it in VR. <laughs> Lerp did a good job. Okay. Am I being too hard on Lerp? Do we not appreciate Lerp enough for what he does? Alright, Lerp, you get a promotion. You are now... The Lerp. <laughs> no, we don't appreciate Lerp. You can go appreciate Lerp by... Hitting subscribe to his Twitch channel. So he can get to 50 subscribers so that he can unlock the ability to um, have 280p. Because right now I can't watch any Lerp streams because he can only stream at 720 followers. There you go. Go follow Lerp because the second Lerp gets the ability to not have video quality always at 720, that'd be great for me. It would be a great, great asset for me. Yay, found the small key. Alright, let's get back to it. It really... Yeah, go follow Lerp. He actually has VR and he knows how Twitch works. Yeah, I, I don't like that. <laughs> Let me tell you, it's a... Tale as old as time, Twitch does something that doesn't really seem beneficial to anyone. You know. You missed it, Lerp. We started the sub to Lerp campaign. Go follow Lerp so eventually he can unlock the ability for me to watch his streams at a quality that isn't 720 because I can't handle it right now with my current internet. My current internet is not good enough to watch Twitch TV unless it is in 240p. And <laughs> Twitch for some reason locks your ability to do that, you would think, at lower quality. But whatever. It's weird. Everything about Twitch is weird. I barely understand YouTube as it stands. So, that's, so you can understand my complete confusion at how Twitch works. Alright, good. Again, he streams like once a month, but I'm usually in those chats. <laughs> Jeff Bozos needs that money. Actually, it's not Bozos anymore, right? It's some other guy. Jeff Nozos. Jefe Bojo. My favorite. You retired? Replace with El Jefe Jojo. Who is just Jeff Bozo in a cut? Are you fucking serious? I need another fucking. <laughs> I don't want like this place. Fuck this place. 
Let me see where to find the fucking last one so we can get off this godforsaken fish. Okay, I got that key. Okay, that's the one I'm missing. Easy enough. I mean, uh, based on how Twitch is currently being run, which is by Amazon for ad money, not a fan. Twitch is a great uh, service in terms of I like the idea of live streaming to people. Um, it would be really great if they weren't in charge of it, though. That's kind of how it boils down to, I think. It's not like an unfair thing to think, either. There's basically, like, no winning for me, too, either, because... Yeah, the, the, the part about how easy it is is actually super nice. It's, I think, goes a little bit unappreciated at times, how easy it is for someone to just start streaming. No, it's not. Not really. I have that much. I have like 87 followers or something. Yeah, I don't know what the hell YouTube's doing with taxes. For people who don't live in America or something. I'm pretty close. I'm like f uh, f I'm like s uh, 58 away or something. I'm getting pretty close. I'll be able to reach it probably during the next big during the 1.5 in Dragalia. That's the kind of thing I don't like about um I mean this is something absolutely everyone complains about. It is the um is that YouTube really wants you to exactly talk about one kind of thing and if you try and do something like me if you ever wonder like how come there's so many people that are like um clickbaity articles or you watch someone's like pokemon card opening and you wonder like oh man what are they gonna get and then the title of the video is like yo pulled the most rarest shit ever watch this the reason that they do that especially if it's their livelihood is because that's the way youtube wants it to be so, you get totally pigeonholed to be doing something in a certain way. It super sucks. And of course, I have to figure out a way to get this stupid fucking thing up here somehow. Yeah, plus, click plus watch time equals money. So I don't fault anyone who's that's their specific job, that's the way they have to do it. Like, the, the fact that there's an entire algorithm based off of comments, but it doesn't matter what you say. So if you say something like, this is for the algorithm, you're helping me, but I think it's kind of lame. I mean, it's nice that they're helping me, that's for sure. Like, never take it, like, if you say that for me, that's very helpful. But I think it's lame that you have to do that. You shouldn't, that the fact that you comment hurt, help, hurts or helps me is shitty. If you don't want to talk or comment on something, then you shouldn't really be forced to. But if you're someone who wants to make YouTube your main thing, it ends up being that you kind of force people to be like, you have to do it this way. Yeah. It ends up being... <sighs> it's a mess. It's a mess for sure. But it's some. But at the same time, I like what it offers me. I like YouTube because it allows me to make videos or help other people in some way. Here we go. Yeah, I appreciate everyone that comments, either if it's for you know the algorithm or if it's literally just just want to say something. I'll always gladly listen. I never have a problem with it. And there we go, that's the last game. But it's been very interesting as someone who wants to run their YouTube without really clickbaity stuff. Like, if you, if, I, I think for, except for, 
Yeah, for they favor interactions too. It's something I try and do. If you, at least in my summon videos, I will never tell you outright who I get. That's something I do. Um, but at the same time, my summon videos end up not doing as well as anyone else because I do it that way. But I think it's, for those specifically, the element of surprise is extremely good. But at the same time, I don't want to fault anyone who uses that. Apparently also if you change your title, that's something that's helpful as well. There's like a whole bunch of things that you can do. Yay, found the boss key. Alright, so now we have to go to the boss area, which I think is down here. <laughs> 20 plus minutes. I hit the sweet spot of like 10 minutes. I think that's perfectly okay length. And also some of my videos are like 20 minutes long, I think. I know the 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 pretty derby one is super long. And I don't get any money from it because I use the pretty derby song in it. Because I watched the idol dance and I felt like the idol dance was too important to the actual game. It's something cool that the game does and I thought it would be shitty if it didn't show it off specifically because it meant I couldn't monetize it. So I just said fuck it and I let them take the money for it. They can get all five cents that I earn from Pretty Derby videos. It's fine. Well, let me see. We have to go to the next boss area. Ow. You are too anal to do YouTube stuff. <laughs> it's, 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 it's just the way it goes. There's some people who can do it and there's some others that don't. I personally think I don't have the actual ability to do it well, but I think everyone who watches my YouTube stuff Alright, let's see. Where is the boss key? There it is over here. So I have to go up there. So let me see how I get there. Because I bet it's... Yeah, that's something you definitely have to get over, I guess, the mindset of. It's the most hardest mindset, which is, this video isn't perfect, should I release it? And the answer is, deep down, no video will ever actually be perfect. There will always be something that will bug you with it. And it depends on you as a person if you can kind of get that done. Hello, jellyfish monster! Wow, what the fuck? Okay, don't hit it there. I cannot use my B button. This sucks. I would, but the problem is, is that um, the reason I don't upload it again is that it uses real names, and I don't want to expose specifically the names of some people that I know for it. I would have to completely redo that again. Yeah, the OP. I don't even know how to. Yeah, and that's the only reason I haven't put it up there, to be honest. I would love to it as like a sign of like, this is what I did a long time ago, and I completely animated this basically by myself, and we did it as a work of this, and it's a parody of this kind of stuff. Like, in terms of a context thing, that video is maybe the most effort I've ever put into anything. And I really can't show it as long as there's real people's names on it. I would have to completely change that. But maybe one day. I would also keep everything. I would keep all the music. We need it for that ending. The ending doesn't make sense with Slowpoke if it does not have that song. I think it's only at the end. I think in the beginning credits there isn't anything. So that should be fine. I don't know, I'll have to relook at it again. We are in space. 
at some point. I'll put it in there. Alright, let's go back to finding this fish. I have no idea how to fight this thing, by the way, because <laughs> I, it's apparently not the sword, though. I could. There's there's just stuff that I'd have to do to it. What do I do? Do I have to hit it with its own thing? Yes, I do. Alright, found the answer. It was Zenrot, not Zahal. <laughs> Damn it! But yeah, the day in the life... I uh, know, D3, these are your videos, which is the unofficial anniversary count for D3, I think. <laughs> it is super easy to get that. Oh, I should do a video on BBS. You mean actually playing the game or talking about my experience with it? Because that's where, that's the origins of Wokey. Is on BVS. That's a very good idea. <gasps> Shit, you know what? Pretty Derby reminds me of BVS. <laughs> in, in, in a really, like, obviously Pretty Derby is a way better game in every single facet. But it totally reminded me of... BVS. BVS. AKA Billy vs. Snake Man. It is where all members of the Trash Alliance were found and this is the origins of Wokey. That's a very good idea, Lerp. I'm gonna do that. <laughs> yeah, endless progression. I mean the the, um, the stat gaining. Do you remember the um the rave stuff? I've been trying so long to figure out what this pretty derby remind me of, and now I realize it's the the rave. It's the, the it's the con, the con thing. That's what it reminds me of. That was the one other thing like pretty derby that I've played. Oh, did you lose? <laughs> did you lose your Wokey tokens? Sorry to say. Boom! We got it though. I did die in the big fish. That was a long-term gamble, damn. Yeah. <laughs> uh... <laughs> Since you seem so relaxed, I've come with news. The Black Tower has already reached the heavens. Oh ho ho ho. I think there's our final place. Actually, there might be one other place, now that I think about it. Yeah, there is. Ha ha ha. The Black Tower is finally complete. Powers of Darkness come to me. 
powers of darkness flow through me, the power swells. Even without powers of young Naru, I can stop time. Now true darkness comes, the sorrow of people shall be delivered to me, lightening my flame of sorrow. And I think she just murks this child right here. <laughs> Cold-blooded, man. She's gonna smoke these smoke these rabbits too. Okay, I think that's it for tonight's stream because I need to eat and it's been very long. It's almost four hours. The next stream will actually be the end of um, Oracle of Ages. We'll get the big sword. We will get everything we need, and we will finish the last two dungeons. But that's the end of today's stream, everyone. Thank you very much for showing up, and uh, see you guys in the next one. You guys have a good night. Bye-bye.